What is up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So, I'm in the middle of my living room for a reason. It's looking quite bare in here and that's because I've got all of my fall, all of my Halloween decorations put away. It's not even Thanksgiving yet, but I need something to look forward to. I think that's the case for everybody in 2020. So, I'm ready to start decorating for Christmas. First thing I'm gonna do is start pulling up all my bins from the basement. So if decorating with me sounds like something you're into, let's get started. I'm sure you can already tell, if you watch my um, Halloween decor collection video, you can see I've got a lot less Christmas decor. I've only got, what? three big bins, this small bin, and a couple wreaths. So not counting my Christmas trees, ornaments, lights, this is everything, which is nice for me because that means I can buy a whole lot more this year now that I've got a house. So let's start cracking into these bins and seeing what I've got. I almost forgot my big ceramic tree downstairs. So this thing is huge, but I absolutely love it. So I remember when I was a little kid, my mom had one just like this, but you could actually remove the little bulbs. It was a lot smaller. But I remember being absolutely obsessed with it. So last year I was like absolutely hooked on getting one of these when they started becoming like trendy for last year. I do kind of regret not getting a white one. So maybe I'll get myself a white one now that I have this space. But I do know I want this right in my front window. I have the perfect spot for it. And this is kind of how I decorate all the time. So. A lot of the time what I'll do is put stuff out where I think I want it and as the days pass, those first that first like week that I've got everything out, I'll keep moving things around until I have everything exactly where I want it. But I do know this guy is absolutely staying here, at least until I get a white one. <laughs> but before I can finish that little window area, I've got to start opening these bins and figure out what else I want up there with it. This thing makes a mess, but it is so beautiful. But it's this really pretty, super silver sparkly garland. I love this. So I think I'm gonna put this up on the fireplace back here. These guys are also so cute, but this makes me so sad. Do you guys see the sparkle on that? Look at, so pretty, so cute, but makes me wicked sad because these are from AC Moore. We don't have AC Moore anymore. There are so many presents and decor pieces that I would buy for family members and friends. I'm literally devastated I don't have AC Moore to go to this year. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ooh, this is wicked cute, guys. I don't even remember. Actually, this is from AC Moore too. How cute is that nightlight? Again, super silver, sparkly nightlight. I'll show you guys what everything looks like once I'm totally finished and can turn the lights on at night. I'll show you, but I want to show you up close too. Pieces like this are some of my favorite. I'm probably shocking you guys with the things that I like for Christmas, but aren't those so pretty? My favorite piece! Christmas cookie and milk break. Okay, so can you guys see that? I was thinking, I was thinking I was gonna put this little town up here, but with this big tree, there's not gonna be enough room with this big tree, and I want that there. So I think I'm gonna have to find a different spot for that, which is a bummer, because that would have been a cute little spot to have the little town, you know what I mean? But there's just too many. I mean, I could take some away, but I don't think I wanna do that. I'm gonna have to move them. So this piece is obviously another vintage find, and it was, I'm sure, originally 20 years ago, bright silver. I don't know if I'd be able to get it back. I don't think so. I think I should spray paint this like black, or maybe a nice silver glitter. Should we pause the decorating to do that and let it dry? Yes, let's do that.
All right, we're gonna leave this guy out here to dry and we can finish unpacking inside. It is freezing. So, <laughs> it's the next day, I ended up going to Michael's. So, you know how I kept saying that I can't stand this green tree and I regret not getting a white one? Well, that's accurate, I can't stand it. So I ended up going to Michael's and picking up just a couple more things. I originally wanted to go to find some things to replace that space up there. And they had some actually really cute iridescent style stuff, which I was super pumped about. I'm upset because this was the last one they had in the store. I would have bought like five of those and probably would have bought two of these. But the other one was missing a stone, which I'm not cool with. But these things are so pretty. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I grabbed, where I'm gonna put them, and then we'll be wrapping up this video. I'm almost done decorating with what I've got for inside here, so we're just gonna put this stuff out and then I'll show you the final reveal. So first, of course, as I've used already in this video and I've used in previous videos, I got two more cans of that Krylon Glitter Blast. I picked up these wicked pretty candles. So again, on that theme of iridescent, they're white pearlized iridescent candles and they have these wicked cute snowflakes. Let me get closer. So they have these adorable snowflakes all around the outside. And again, it's that really pretty pearlized iridescent glass isn't that so pretty then i picked up these so aren't these so cool they still have the plastic inside of them because it's glass on the inside it kind of reminds me of almost like a birch tree scene i guess so it's glass on the inside and they're obviously candle holders again with my obsession of getting doubles I got two and I think what I'm going to do with these guys is obviously put a candle in the middle of them and then I'm going to put them up on top of these big candle holders right here. I did find these. I thought these were super pretty and they're metal and little jewel or crystal ornaments. So cute. They had one more. But again, it was missing a little diamond, which is such a bummer because of course I'd rather four than three, but at least I got three. So these are almost, I guess, to look like a silver poinsettia, I think. So it's just a basic silver, lightly glittery 
garland. And again, I think they're meant to look like poinsettias, little mini poinsettias or something. That's what they look like to me anyway. Then I got one more garland. And this one's definitely different, but it's almost like these foam balls. And they've got a white sparkly one, a silver, another white, and then these big tinsely silver ones. So these are my two favorite pieces. And again, they only had this one and one of the legs was broken, but I couldn't help it because it's an easy fix. I got it for super cheap, so I was like, whatever. But it's this cool metal framed 3D looking tree and it's got these really pretty iridescent gems on the side. My most favorite thing was this. Why this is nostalgic to me, I don't know. I think it's from my best friend who actually saw this and showed it to me, which is funny. I didn't even say this to her. <laughs> so I'll know if she watches my video because I'm sure she'll mention this, but her mother used to have a lot of um, costume jewelry that looked like this. So I think this metal style gem design is nostalgic to me for that because we go way back. But I absolutely love this thing. Again, it's that iridescent gem and it's on this cool metal framed tree. Super neat, right? Okay, that's it. That's what I got from Michaels. So let's pull that green tree down. I don't know where I'm gonna put him or if I'm gonna repaint it, what. But let's get this new stuff up and out. And then I'll be done decorating. So, so, so much better. I don't know why that green tree was bothering me as bad as it was, but all this iridescent is super pretty. I'm into it, for sure, into it. Okay, it's really hard to see with daylight still up, so I will show you guys the final reveal once the sun goes down.